this video is going to be on the eraser program and um, <clears throat> since I can't really make a really long video with tons of ads please do a thumbs up, a subscribe, a like, a share, leave a comment um, more important go over to the video description click on some of the Amazon affiliate links if you're going to buy some stuff from there that will help me out so let's get on with the video now the eraser program this is on a Windows 10 machine this problem happens on Windows 10 and I believe also Windows 7, Windows 8. You'll be using the eraser program. It's been working great for days or weeks or months or years and all of a sudden it stops working. It just does not work. You click on the icon and I'm going to show you but you already know what the problem is. You click on the icon and you see it in the taskbar. You might see it in the taskbar and then it doesn't load. So let's, let me do this right now and see what happens. So I, I get the, uh, the screen. <clears throat> Sometimes it doesn't even do that. Sometimes you, you, it just won't even show you the screen. It will just uh, not load at all. But that's what's going to happen here. I'm going to click on yes. And there's nothing there. There is nothing. Now I'm going to try that again. Let's go look in the taskbar and see what happens. I clicked on that. Do you have anything in the taskbar? I don't have a taskbar because the whole screen just goes black and that's why it's kind of tricky you can't see the taskbar other times I've clicked on it I'll see it in the taskbar and it boop, just disappears so I'm gonna click on yes and there we are we get the screen back but we don't have anything and in the taskbar did you see it I don't know if you saw it I'm gonna do that again let me do that again I'm gonna click yes now I'm gonna go to the taskbar Oh boy, let's go enable all of this again. And if I click over here, we might see it right over there. Look at all of them. Look at all of them. And then they just close. So how do you fix that? That's what this video is going to be about. I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, I don't know if this is strictly related to Windows 10 64-bit or the 32-bit. I don't know what is causing it. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how to fix it first thing you're going to want to do is click on the icon. You should have it on the desktop. It should say this PC or it might say my computer. Um, and if not, then you just go down to the start menu and click on my computer uh, in the menu to open it up. So I'm going to click on this. And you are going to want to go over to drive C. <clears throat> now before I continue, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to make sure that all of your hidden files are visible. How do you do that? I wasn't expecting to show this, but I may as well show this. Go to the uh, Drive C over here, right click, <clears throat> go down to Properties. All righty, ignore that. Go down to the Start menu. And over here, See, we have the uh, this PC or my computer if you ever need that. So you're going to go to the start thing and then you're going to go to control panel. I'm just going to double click on control panel to get everything up over here. And then we're going to go to file, explore, options. I'm going to left click on that. And then I'm trying to move all the windows over so that you can see what's going on. So you're going to have this, let me close this. You're going to have this uh, Explore File Options and you're going to go click on View. And then right over here you see where it says Show Hidden Files, Folders, and Drives. Normally it's Don't Show. So you're going to want to click on Show and then you're going to click on Apply and then you're going to click on OK. And then you're going to go and do what we need to do. And maybe just to avoid problems later on go do this again and click on Don't Show Hidden Files so you don't have to see all of that, but I've got mine set right now. So now that I have it set, because this is a hidden folder that you're going to be looking at to make this change. So my drive is drive C, yours might, uh, well yours is probably on drive C also. So once you get to drive C, we're going to go over to users. Now I don't know how many users you're going to have listed on your account, but um, let me shrink this down so you can see it. So you're always going to have a public and a default. Um, 
if you can't find this in one of the folders, go look in the other. But my computer name is Cookie. And yours might have a different name. You might have set it up with your the name of your your name or uh, my computer or Ant's computer, living room PC, who knows. But it's usually not going to be in the default of the public. It's going to be in the computer name. So I'm going to click on Cookie. And then when I get into Cookie, I'm going to go scrolling down for App Data. Now this is the folder that is normally hidden, that we unhid. So I'm going to click on App Data. And then I'm going to go click on Local. So you can see over here the PC Drive C, User, the name of your computer, App Data. And then go to Local. Once you're in Local, you're going to look for your program. Eraser 6. And you see this file over here, this task list.ersy, that is the problem. That's the problem. So you have a choice. You can either delete it or you can just go in there and keep it there, but it's a tiny little file. It's a 2K file. What I'm going to do to show you if the sticks is the problem, I'm not going to delete it. I'm going to go click on this. You can go in there and click delete. But you never want to click delete until you're 100% sure about something because you might have to restore it from the recycle bin. But here we have tasklist.ersy. I'm just going to go in there and change this and put a big Z over here. You could put any letter. So I just renamed it. Now you can do that where I clicked it or you could actually go right click the mouse and go down to rename and do it that way so let's click the escape key and get out of that so i've renamed this uh, task list.ersy and now i'm going to go over here and i'm going to close all these windows and you're going to see a miracle happen before your eyes where the heck is that Okay, I click yes. Is this going to let me down and make me look foolish to everybody on the YouTuber? There it is, people. We just fixed the problem. It's a secret. Nobody knows about it but me. I'm the only person in the world that knows about this fix. So we fixed the problem, we solved the problem, and we go down over here. And your icon is there. I mean, the uh, if we click over here, right there, right there, it's sitting right there, and the program is going to work. So, um, I guess that's all. Please do a thumbs up, subscribe, like, share, leave a comment. Hopefully, this helps somebody. It's a really tricky thing, but. Uh, not much documentation out there on how to do this. And um, again, if you're going to order something from Amazon, please click on my affiliate link in the video description before you place your order. It definitely helps me out, keeps my channel going, helps me out a little uh, with the cha-ching, and it's always a good thing. Thanks for watching, everybody. I don't have a taskbar because the whole screen just goes black, and that's why it's kind of tricky. You can't see the taskbar. Other times I've clicked on it, I'll see it in the taskbar, and it boop just disappears. So I'm going to click on yes and there we are. We get the screen back but we don't have anything and in the taskbar did you see it? I don't know if you saw it. I'm going to do that again. Let me do that again. I'm going to click yes. Now I'm going to go to the taskbar. Oh boy. Let's go enable all of this again. And if I click over here we might see it right over there look at all of them look at all of them and then they just close so how do you fix that that's what this video is going to be about I'm going to show you how to do that um, I don't know if this is strictly related to Windows 10 64 bit or the 32 bit I don't know what is causing it but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how to fix it first thing you're going to want to do is click on the icon. You should have it on the desktop. It should say this PC or it might say my computer. Um, and if not, then you just go down to the start menu and click on my computer. 
uh, in the menu to open it up. So I'm going to click on this.